Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create Allure reports through Jenkins or I will say Allure reports in Jenkins for our protractor tests and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go very basic step by step and we will learn how to publish our Allure reports on Jenkins. So let's get started and here I am on my Windows system. You can also follow this on Mac and I have my Jenkins up and running and uh, about Jenkins, how to get started with Jenkins and all these we have already learned in the earlier videos in the protractor series. So I hope you have watched those videos and now you also have your Jenkins up and running along with the protractor test job created. So here the first thing is we have to add the Allure reports plugin in Jenkins. So this is step number one. This is add Allure plugin in Jenkins and if you go to your Jenkins and go to your Jenkins dashboard and go to manage Jenkins and go to manage plugins here you can go to your available section and search for Allure and you will get this Allure plugin. If you click here, it will take you to the documentation of this plugin. So you can also see the documentation about the usage and all this plugins details. And I will click on this checkbox and say install without restart. So this will install the Allure plugin on my Jenkins. And now this is successful. And now I will go back to the dashboard and go to manage Jenkins and I will go to configure system and if I scroll down here you can see we have a Allure report section and here I can add properties if I want to but for now I will just keep it as it is and now if I go again to manage Jenkins and go to global tool configuration here again if I scroll down uh, you can see we have a Allure command line and if I click here add Allure command line so I will just say Allure here and I can select the version I want so I'm just going with the latest version and here also you might need to add your Java JDK installation so if you check on your system Java must be installed if I go to command line and I say Java space hyphen version you can see I have my Java installed and this should be JDK and here you can click on add JDK give the name for example in my case it is JDK 8 or you can go with 9 as well and then I will not say install automatically I will give the give my Java home location so here if you go on your system and for example let me just show you very quickly if you go to my computer or this PC and right click go to properties go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables uh, the Java home must be set and the location of Java home you can provide it here now in my case I have done the settings at a system level so Jenkins should also be able to take it from here so let me just uh, skip it for now and let me see if I'm able to run it without this so I will delete this JDK part and I have just added my Allure command line I will say apply and save that's it and now if I go to my Jenkins job that is for protractor tests here I will go to configure and if I now go to post build actions this build command I have already added in the last session now I have I am going to the post build actions and here I will select here Allure reports so you can see we have a option here Allure report I will select this and here we have got this section so here step number two is
add allure command line in global tools configuration and then step number three is in job configuration add post build action that is allure reports so now i will say this path is allure results now here uh, if you see if you go to your general section and in my case i have added the path to my folder the project folder here and this we have already seen in the last session so if i show you my project folder so this is coming from here and here i already have this allure results folder so basically we have to give this location here in the allure section in this allure section here post build actions i have to provide this path however because this path until here is already present in my workspace so i can just provide path up to here so this is the path for lu results where my lu results xml file gets created so i will just provide this lu results here and then i will say for properties uh, i don't i will just leave this for now and let us say i will say apply and save and i will say build now and it is running our test if i go to the console logs you can now see it is running this and it is now trying to create allure reports for us so let's just see if it is able to generate the allure reports here it says allure report was successfully generated and everything is fine if i just go and go back to my project you can see now we have got this allure report if I go here, you can see LO reports are here and you can see all these things. I can see my tests here, all the history retries. Of course, history will not be there because this is the first time. So let me try to run my project again and let us also try to uh, do some changes. I will go to my project on Visual Studio Code and here I will go to the tests. This is my calculator.js and let us say i add this test again i will say this is subtraction test and i will make some mistake here and i will say save and now i'm just going to upload it on github so I will click this and say yes updated calculator dot js and I will again go to here and say push or push to protractor framework this is my github repository and this should be done now and if i now just go to my jenkins job and run my job again this time this should take the latest changes from github and then it should run the test so if i go back to my jenkins job i will say build now again and let us see this is running the first test and if I go here so you can see there is pause a failure here and if I now go back to my project and go to LEO reports you can now see here in the history it shows failure and if I go inside you can see it shows a failure here as well 
and if I go inside the test here it so says this is subtraction test that I have just added and it says click go one is not a function and here for test one uh, you can see the retries the history here all this information is available if I go to the graphs you can see the graphs here the timelines and everything so here step number four is run job and check allure reports and this is how you can create allure reports in Jenkins I hope this session was very useful for you if you have any questions or any doubts please write them down in the comment section below and I will try to reply to you as soon as I can and please share your knowledge with others thank you so much for watching